Awesome, and welcome everyone to episode 2 of our Football Manager 22 uh, Pacific FC playthrough here. Um, so as you can see, we're just on the schedule. I played it, uh, the first two friendlies off camera. Both were wins. The first game, obviously, we were pretty dominant against that semi-pro team and then against Edmonton they actually took an early lead and then our newest one of our new signings um handsome Bokai or yeah, Boakai um he scored a brace so and that was actually against his old club so Ketron Ferdinand and Hanson Boakai signed uh, Dada Luke put in a transfer request, Forge bottom for 43000 up front, I can move up to 63000 at the end of the year. Uh, Gazdov went on loan to Valor FC, so he should be getting some valuable backup time there. And then uh, Polisi has also put in a transfer request, um, and then we've brought in three players on the loan. Uh, Gabriel Bittar, Dean Northover, both players who played for Cavalry, um, and then uh, Mr. Morell, another fullback on loan here. Um, we've brought him in on trial as well. We're most likely going to sign him. He is currently rated better than both of our, um, well, than our current starting left back and. Uh, he is rated a little bit better than Caden Chung. Dean Northover, unfortunately, will not make the cut for us. Um, as you can see here, we'll, we'll go look at some transfers really quick. Um, there are offers in for Polisi. This is... There we go. Uh, this is a little slow. I got a couple of things going on in the background here. But yeah, as you can see, a couple offers in here for Polisi. Uh, transfer history. But yeah, Hanson, Bokai, Keishon. Uh, both are free transfers. And then we've got, uh, as you can see, Emil Kashtov and uh, Dadaluk Oak to Forge there uh, for 43. And potential of 63 so now what I'm looking at if I can uh, go into the squad we'll go into the register for the season because I think we're about 20 players registered 19 players registered still And we can only have 23. So I am looking to bring in one more uh, 20 year old or under who will be able to play uh, in a few games here. Um, so yeah, 20 registered maximum salary cap there. No more than seven foreigners, which is good. Most of most of the players who you would think like Josh Hurd, he's Welsh, but he's also Canadian. He doesn't count. Um, so they have a lot of uh, doubles here. Um, but yeah, and Dos Santos here, he's most likely only going to be around for the one season, which is unfortunate because we're going to lose him for nothing. If he has a good year, that would be some good money to try and collect, but, um, so yeah, probably going to be signing, uh, Mr. Morell for the back line, uh, going to be looking for one more, uh, midfielder and potentially a striker and Definitely an attacking midfielder, a central attacking midfielder. Uh, we've got lots of players who can play on the wing here, right? But we don't really have, once Khaleesi goes, we only have Bustos. 
I would kind of prefer to play Bustos up left and have Dos Santos up as a false nine up front. So this is, once the tactics load, this is the team I'll be going with in the friendly against Vancouver 2 here. So that, and this is, I think, kind of how I want to run this squad. I want to kind of have like a shadow striker or uh, an attack minded attacking midfielder to uh, like uh, maybe even a tricorista. Never really used a tricorista. But probably not. Uh, yeah, probably an attack-minded midfielder, event playmaker to slot in that center role. But for now, uh, this is the team that we're gonna go in with. Um, we've got these three guys here. I think, I think Bitar will be our signing for a backup striker um, outside of Dos Santos and Diaz. Um, it'll be interesting to see what we can get out of him. Um, but yeah, Jordan Morrell. So uh, yeah, he he comes in and he can be a three and a half star fullback. So. I figure that's a bit better than, uh, although it is attack, so, and that, uh, those could be, now that I think of it, there could be, anyways. See if he is if he is rated better than Haynes. Um, once we get him to know him a little bit while he's here, then I'll probably want to sign him. If not, then I might just sign Dean North over, and he'll be depth. Which is really all I'm looking for in that back line. Uh, Alright, yeah, let's uh let's get into this game right away. We're gonna try and get through this episode uh, relatively quick. We're gonna play this game against Vancouver and then uh, through the rest of this week we'll probably jump cut and then um, when is that? Yeah, so in a, just over a week, we'll do the Trump FC2 game as well. And, but yeah, like I I'll jump cut through anything here. Um, apart from any signings or sales, we might, uh, I might show it off. So, um, alright, let's get into it. Full bench with those three trials. As I said, we're, I'm probably going to sign Bitar. I'm liking how his abilities are looking to start, so um, try and hold on to him. Take a take a minute. So yeah, that's the team I'm going in with. I did play um, Village here 
in the other two games. So that's why um, you'll see Irving is out of uh, shape there. Uh, yeah, Mark Village, yeah, so he's played in three games so far. He's allowed one goal on two shots. By the looks of it. Yeah. For a backup, that's not ideal. <laughs> um, yeah, let's uh, submit the team, and we'll, we'll get in there. Hope everyone stays going well. Um, excited, uh, excited to get back into this session here, and uh, yeah, the uh, Canadian Championships were just drawn in real life. So um, Pacific have a first round bye, and uh, my personal team, Calvary, we're going to be going up against uh, SC Edmonton as usual. Which is essentially a, a buy for us this year. But, I mean, Edmonton could really step up and, and be something of a team this year, even though um, real life they are uh, a team living on loans. They, they are going to be struggling for the next couple seasons for sure. Which is unfortunate because. They are the oldest professional team in this league, really, and one of the oldest professional teams in the country that has been able to keep going for an extended period of time. We should be winning this. Let's pump our fists, see if we can get anything. One. Complacency. chance outside the box. Takes it. What's going on here? What's going on? <laughs> oh no! 
All right, that's a goal. Let's see if I can. Let's see if the replay will show us what actually happened. Is that pretty by himself? That's that's not going to be tough. Oh, just so. Goalkeeper's not even thinking that. He's going to be able to get a shot. That's a poor play from the goalkeeper, though. Flynn is a shadow striker, I guess he's going to be shooting quite a bit. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So. No pressure, no pressure. Oh, it was off. Oh, it was close to offside. It wasn't offside, though. Let's see if the team can whip the ball into the box a little bit. XG of 0.11. That's a lot of place to cross. And then you really just got it directed on that there. Alright, that was a quick first half. Not a lot going on after those goals. They've picked up a couple of yellows, which is kind of good. Um, let's see. We might drop for man for the second half. And her Dos Santos as well. Rest of these games. Sorry, I'm just realizing kind of how thin we are in that central spot. And even kind of on the wing. If I have certain players in those positions. That's for sure. They've taken off their goal scorer. 
we made three changes of our own as you can see um north over bitar and policy Up for us. Looks like it. Old police work now. Bricio. Fortunate when it's giving away in a good position like that. Still only the one shot on target, which was that free kick. Got three other uh, shots. Alright, we're hitting the uh, 70th minute here. The free kick. Let's see what happens here. Police. Nice, nice. Beat on that near post. Well done. Aparicio playing well, but he is going to come off. So no stamina there. see this okay um, yeah we're gonna switch up to a 424 and we'll bring on Diaz as a false knight Two shots, two goals. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> yep, I paused him. Okay. 
Green, Burakai, nice. Two for three now. That's some bangers you gotta keep an eye out for, but he's playing in this match, he's gonna be pretty terrible. <laughs> that would barely deserve to go away. Two weeks, so we are about to get him in the TSC game. Let's kind of see how he does. Two guys are in on the ball and they get beat out by this kid. Good interceptions, good interceptions. Reading it well. <laughs> Did they really bring on their goalkeeper? Their backup goalkeeper for three minutes? Police ended up getting a call and then says for himself as well. Yeah, I'm not super happy with that performance, but all right, so we're back. Um, we're ready for this game against uh, TFC two here. So uh, Morel's offer or trial expired, but we made him an offer. I let I uh, terminated Dean Northover's trial. We have Carson Wood on trial. I don't think I'm gonna be signing him. Um, yeah, don't think I'm gonna be signing. In fact, I think I'm gonna terminate that right away here. Um, Gabriel Pitar, two star. We'll see how he performs in this game, and we'll decide if I'm gonna offer him a contract after. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, there were a couple guys that I was looking at. Um, at this point, I'm just waiting for scope reports to come in, so that way I have a better idea of who I could be signing. Um, in and out, in and out, yeah. Um, Alright, let's get into this game right away. Um. Against TFC 2, here we go. So yeah, hopefully, um, this is um, hopefully um, in the next episode for tomorrow, Santos, so, um, yeah, so for tomorrow's episode, we're gonna uh, get the season started and hopefully round out our squad with some signings. I think I'm gonna fill it up to a 23 man squad. Um, just to get that depth in. And I am looking at a midfielder right now who's been given a squash roll of an emergency backup. So, don't think I'm going to be looking to sign that player. 
I'm still looking to sign another under 21 player. Diaz, nice lead. Slot that home. Yeah, if, if we can get a couple wins against these uh, second teams of these MLS squads, then, I mean, they are academy clubs, so they're going to be amazing. Well, uh, yes, we'll see the rest of that. We are controlling this game a lot better than the last game. And we're pretty much playing identical systems. It's just different player rules. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we'll try and get some signings done tomorrow once all the scouts uh, scouting reports get back here. Um, you know, hopefully, like I said, I need a central attacking player, a right-sided attacking player, so I'm hoping to, well, really I'm hoping to get a couple of guys that are two and ones. Because uh, if I can get a player that can play the left and the right, or central and the right, or the central and striker, it'll make a huge difference to how many signings I actually bring in. Because I'd rather not fill up the squad, and I'd rather leave a space open for summer. If I need to make an extra signing. Um, but yeah, Kula, Dada Luke, and Matteo Polisi have both moved on, which uh, really kind of hurt that wing depth. Um, if I had brought in Boakai and those two had stayed, I, I would have just been looking to move on. Josh Hurd probably for a central player and uh, a striker really. Uh, but yeah, another midfielder potentially. Um, but one of these guys needs to be under 20. We've offered. Um, oh, I can't remember his name now. Uh, one of the fullbacks, we offered him a contract for like us in the floor. So he should accept it. And that's a squad role player, so that is perfectly acceptable for me. Kiss he probably will be playing. Uh, no. Starting a third and coming in on another third, so uh, third of the games, I, sh I should say. Uh, I'm probably not gonna cut any of the gameplay, I'm just going to cut in between games, uh, it wasn't a whole lot, I was just going through a lot of scouting, and um, just trying to find players that are going to fit the system. Ooh, Usos. Corner. Corner to the good guys. show off that first game of the season, probably the second game. I'm going to look to do two to three games in so and then probably three to four games off camera, maybe two to three games off camera. Yeah, maybe, maybe three on, three off, three on, three off. That way we can get through the season. And I'll choose the games that you know, if it's a high scoring game. Oh, I missed them scoring.
Getting into the second half here. Oh yeah, no face cam today. Um, mainly because I'm recording off stream and because I was having a few other camera issues. So, uh, but most of my videos I will have a face cam. Um, all right, let's see. Do we want to change out? Ooh. Not a whole lot that we need to change out, but it has had lost games. These four definitely need to, uh, really don't have anyone playing that central role. scaring me though, but that's okay. split more games. Diaz just did pretty good as well. So we'll wait to bring on Bitar, I think. These guys, some sharpness and fitness going. Um, Smake should be our number three center back, but I do have to say I haven't been fully impressed by him in all the games that he's played. Dixon kicking back to Irving. Deferred man, Richie. A second, so. Oh! Oh! Josh Hurd just sliding it across. Close. I like that, I like that play though. If we play like that most of the year, we should be, uh, should be uh, getting into the playoffs. Corner 
here to the Reds. Quick change, not really gonna matter much, but. Wow, what an angle. Get real big time, that's me. Offside, of course. Uh, of course. Let's, uh, let's not lose this game in the last minute here, boys. Take a draw, but I really think this is one we could have won. Right. Yeah, let's just wind down the game. Five friendlies, we were in 4 0 and 1, so you know, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Four wins is a good sign. That's some unfortunate play on that last goal, but it's showing signs that we can create and that we are getting into those positions. here um like i said in the next episode uh, we are going to uh be playing at Pudico here um I, i'm gonna offer bitard the contract before we go i was definitely impressed with that uh with his Performances. We'll just offer that. All right. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Thanks again for tuning in. This was Average Bro with Club North Gaming, and we'll see you next time.